the medical products, the registered medical products with Monica Honey uh, in them, um, are getting qu quite widespread usage, especially in Britain, where the National Health Service covers the cost of using the, those products, and there's several companies that are selling them there. But many other countries are using these products as well. And initially, it seems to be as a last resort. When nothing else is working, people try it. But then when they see how well it works, they start using it routinely. And when their colleagues see the results they're getting, they start using it as well. So that, that's how it gets established uh, in usage. Uh, it's very acceptable to the patients. Um, there's been a lot of news media coverage of um, how successful honey is um, being used in wound treatment. And one of the wound care specialist nurses I work with um, in Britain was telling me that uh, she gets products from pharmaceutical companies with a request to try them on her patients, and the patients are often quite reluctant. But she says, with honey, it's the only product where the patient comes in and asks, please will you use honey on my wound, because they've heard about it and they're uh, enthusiastic uh, about it. I know with one of the clinical trials being conducted in Britain, which is randomised, so the patients are randomly assigned to honey or the comparative standard treatment, that they were having trouble recruiting enough patients because the ones when they found out they were being they had been assigned to the standard treatment didn't want to take part. They wanted the honey to be used. <laughs>